All right, guys, welcome back to Man Eater. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead and finish up Prosperity Sands by consuming humans. Disturb the peace and prosperity. Prosperity Sands recently passed a record 629 days without a shark attack, a fact of which Pete is quite proud. Well then. Oh, there's the, uh, life support. How did I not find it? The shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. I ain't trying to deal with these fellas. Gotta kill so many humans on the frame. Days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can thank OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. Beach bummer. What better way to put a dent in the local tourism industry than to terrorize a beach resort? See, that's humans. We'll go for the seal one first. Off the menu. Seal watching is considered the highest of dining at Cabana Breeze because it's definitely not the coconut shrimp. Another shark hunt draws to a close. I think the reason being is if we look at everything. No. Okay, so check on Scaly P. I'm I'm thinking maybe that's gonna be like a human thing where we have to get to another level or whatever. We got more great whites. There we go. Let me eat all your seals and peas. Alright, and so... We do have one more seal, but this one's closer. Shopping spree. Pete frequents the Aquarelle Cosmetics here because of all the sun and wind burn requires a dedicated skincare regimen. Consume 10 humans. Everybody. Oh, 
I like everybody getting stunned just because I have that thing. This is right. about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. Michael Mann of Reed and Town got that mango butter facial scrub I like. Raving lunatic. This beach is known for its nightly raves. Unfortunately, sharks are instinctively hostile towards raves and rave culture. Understandable, to be honest. Problems. Day 198 of the Seals Fish Fingers protest, their inability to articulate their demands in human speech continues to be a problem. What's up, docks? The docking fees here can be up $450 per month, so by destroying these boats and their owners, you're doing their hares a service. Port Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. Oh, I still need another one. Somehow... None of those people died or something? Well, I guess they don't have yeah. Go 
more than Thane and Sands. But, you know, so do a lot of other New York couillons. Alright, beach bummer. What better way to put a dent in the local tourism industry than to terrorize a beach resort? I'm going the right way, right? No. I guess we'll do that one instead of the people first. Royal Flush. The Great White is called the King of the Ocean. And boy, they never let you forget it. We get Bone Tail. Hell, I don't know. Maybe she's scared. Fort Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. 29. Oh, and she's big. Stunning her and poisoning her with our stuff. The Great White is often referred to as the King of the Ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Oh no, I don't want to check in on Pete again. like these that can change just so begins another reckless campaign of extermination. Just think though, if there really were shark attacks like this. Looking wealthy women. Yeah, there's a court order says I can't be within 200 feet of the beach, but you can see a lot. You can see a lot, <laughs> you can see a lot with a good set of bananas. Yeah, sure. Anybody see is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's.
I was like, what the heck? The shark is now a mega shark. Often referred to by scientists as the 64 ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. Ocean terror. Mega. Okay, so lung capacity is fully upgraded. We have all our abilities full. We got a tail now. We have shadow tail and bone tail. So plus 10 max speed, plus 10 swim speed. This evolution allows you to launch a ball of poison from your tail when you tail whip. On tail whip, you release a poison projectile that inflicts 25 damage on whatever it hits with a, thir with a 30 meter range. When it hits, it's release it releases a poison cloud that puts one poison counter on all creatures within 6 meters. Creatures suffer negative 1 speed, damage, resistance, and damage outputs plus 2.2 damage per second. Ugh. For each counter, up to 30 counters. A counter is removed every 30 second, every three seconds. So it looks like that. Then we have the bone tail. This evolution turns your tail into a skull crushing bone sledgehammer. Passive. 30% splash radius, plus 6 tail whip damage, plus 50% tail whip force, plus 3% damage resistance, plus 4% ramming damage. Uh. Might as well go to tier 5. Wow, looks really cool. Shoot. We... We're on bone fins now. Let's go ahead and... Get to tier five with that. Uh, yeah, let's go with the bone teeth. We're almost all but oh wow, that looks cool. Unfortunately, our bone body isn't fully upgraded. Yeah, we can't. So let's keep with the uh, shadow body for right now. Let's see, what can we upgrade though? Whoops. Tier 5, tier 5. There, here we go. And that's H. These are both your five fins. Bioelectric. Uh, yep, we can go ahead and upgrade this one. Go ahead and upgrade that a little bit. We'll save the rest, I think. Oh man, we're looking cool. Alright, fish food. Pete might be a little upset about you killing his son and all. No doubt. He's up to some plotting and scheming. Check in on Pete again. I would guess to be a little bit mad about that.
Though a shark may lack gusto for a particular type of prey, its limitless hunger reigns supreme. Many swimmers who've been brushed by sharks have had skin torn away merely by the shark's rough hide. Pete, what's in the barrels? Fish fool. Pete, can I ask you not to do it? Gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? Oh, Pete's, uh, looking a little rough. Vacation from hell. Is it Caviar Key Grotto? Well, hello there. Pete, scale of his poison sapphire bay. Sapphire bay. Oh, wow. Region poison. Be careful. Scaly pins poison the whole region. There's more alb albino wildlife in Mugen X gains, but movement speed, fat minerals, and protein gains are decreased. Wow. Well, good thing we already 100% of it, right? See, yeah, we can probably just like swim right over there. I thought we were gonna have to like destroy boats and stuff. That's why I changed out everything to bone. Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Oh my god, a whale. Okay, we're back in caviar key. No. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. Okay, we're actually here now. And we have eight signs, uh, 12 more caches, and 10... Uh, license for this. Savius. Fort Clovis City Council never misses an opportunity for cross franchising.
Oh, what the hell? Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. This is a uh, orca tank. Toy time. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day old seal carcass. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Yeah, I went over there just because I, I knew that one was only the great. up the evolutionary arms race. Fish. The bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Man, I don't like all the tunnels and stuff. You get lost. Yeah, because I think all of this. Maybe this stuff. It's probably in tunnels. backwards.
turn fail. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. <sighs> The appetite of this shark is nearly insane. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Let's go get this. What a big After fin losing you have. to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the line for a simpler, more natural way of life. Oh, this is the. Uh... Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Come on. Why would it let you go over it in one area but not the other? Coastal erosion currently impacts over 70% of the globe's sandy beach environments. Why can't you... I don't know, I guess you can't hit that. Rising sea levels have made once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible. Yeah, I guess I can't hit that. I don't know. It won't let me do it. That's weird. To see this area is to witness the inability of the hydrosphere to support the growth of humanized landscapes along the coast. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Wow, this is just a smorgasbord well stuff, isn't it?
king mackerel remains a popular dish, in spite of being one of the top five fish for potential mercury poisoning. Even sharks just need to dirty both. Okay, it does look like that's all that was in here. Need to make sure. Because for some reason these things are hard to Necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well balanced diet. I got four things. Um, oh, wow, we still need four landmarks. That's crazy. Normally that's like the first thing we find because there's not the as many. The ancient Greeks believed that King Poseidon ruled the waters, whereas here at Prosperity Sands, they're ruled by luxury leisure groups international. Desert floats. If you're like me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier mache. Frames right there were insane. After the creation of a killer clown task force, <laughs> oh. clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. That is hilarious from it. Oh, that's so cool. Check over here because this doesn't seem to be in there.
Okay. Did not realize I could go up. Oh, we're in this, uh... Cool. Let's go ahead and chomp down really quick. Oh, we have one way over here as well. Darn it. Also, I just noticed we're level 30 and it's not going up, so level 30 is the highest you can be. I knew Mega um, was as far as you went just from the achievements, but uh, didn't know level 30. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Wow, way over there. There's another one. Frankie's vandalism master. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. Oh, that's that. Alright, we have one more landmark. One more... Well, actually, we have one more of everything. Um... But, let's just go ahead to the grotto. We still haven't done that. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
It's funny, it says only 20%, even though we only have one of each thing to do, just because of all the quests and stuff. But, alright, let's start doing these quests. A turtle disaster. A booming turtle population has decimated the Keys' once thriving seagrass meadows, which is everyone's favorite part of the ocean. I don't know where in the world the last three things are because if you look at the map, I mean, the only spot we can't do where we haven't been to is like over here. Which... Let's just check. No, you can't even go any further than that. Alright, turtles. We're also gonna make it. Oh my god, I look away on level 30. That's probably the uh, apex predator over here. have exploded. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating. Let's take down an orca real quick. I guess we got it. Slow pokes. A pond this size can only accommodate so many turtles per square foot until it becomes an open sewer. Uh, where do we go to get in here? face many threats, including habitat destruction, harvesting for consumption, and illegal doping at turtle races. What the shell? Turtles have gathered near the skate park to witness the best skaters in the country. Unless you count LA, Philly, Boston, etc. That's funny.
Using her quickness, the bull shark is able to escape serious injury. The bull shark detects the faint millivolt electric impulses given off by the heartbeat of its potential prey. And we got the apex right there. First, black and white and dead all over. Kasanita recently escaped from fish fingers and is to be considered ag aggrieved and extremely dangerous. Right or left? Think right. Oh, uh, no, left. All those turtles away, and we still only have twenty six thousand. Hunted or oh, 35. That seems weird to me. We can only get to level 30, but this thing's level 35. about my ability. After years of eating the same meal of frozen herring at fish fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. Ew. Alright, but let's... Uh, shoot. You know what? We're gonna go ahead, fast travel to the grotto. See if we can upgrade anything, and then we'll end it.
Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Oh, we're almost, uh... Yeah. There we go. Uh, we only have... Th we have three hunted... Uh, thing or food, which is just killing ten humans, killing the apex, and then probably killing a couple humans and then a story thing. Um, still have no idea what the last three things are. Um, this one honestly could be one of them. Don't know. Again, it could be like around the very edge of here. Um, we'll see in the next one though. Alright, let's see about upgrading. Uh, they're all at five. Five, five, one. Let's see, do we have anything that's not at five that is leveled up? Um, Shadow Tail is tier two. Three, four, and five. So that's fully leveled. And then all the organs are five. Uh, what else was it? The body. Spoon body. We'll go ahead and level that one up. Won't be able to do much. Yeah, that's about it. To tier 3. And then the organs. Ooh. Can't do... We can do... Protein digestion. And adrenal gland once. It looks like... We don't know what this one is, because right now nothing is using the yellow stuff. And we need one more tail. One more fin. One more jaw. And a whole head. Huh. So, we're gonna go ahead and end that here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, and I'll see you. Bye.